There are three ways to control multiple channels at once in the SQ. There are DCAs, gangs, and groups. Well, what's the difference? Let's find out. Because I didn't want to make a video that is longer than a Lord of the Rings evening, I split it up into three parts. Part one is about DCAs, part two is all about groups, and part three will be about gang groups. Have fun. Explosion. Okay, what is a DCA group and what does it stand for? DCA stands for Digitally Controlled Amplifier. It's a way to control multiple faders Fader with just one fader. For example, to control the volume of all your drum channels at once. But wait, I hear you say. I only have eight channels of drums. Why shouldn't I use eight fingers? Well, that might work if all your faders are at the same height. But remember, those faders are logarithmic. That means one centimeter around the zero mark are five dB in volume, whereas at minus 20, that one centimeter represents 10 dB or even more. It's very hard, if not impossible, to keep the balance of your drum the same if you don't use a DCA group. Imagine having to push all those faders in a different amount, nearly impossible. So, how do we assign all our channels to a DCA group? Well, you tap the routing button and you see right here, there is uh, your direct out settings and there is DCA assign. Um, you have different possibilities. You could choose um, when you're on the mixer, um, choose assign and your kick drum is assigned and you go to the next channel, snare drum and assign everyone uh, single-handed. You could also use the view button and there you see you have an overview of all the channels that can go into your DCA group. And um, by the way, that is everything that has a fader. So your ins, your outs, your effect sense, your returns, it doesn't matter as long as it has a fader. So here it is very easy to assign all our drums to DCA number one. And conveniently, we should uh, name this one maybe drum. Drum, oh, drum, drum. A second way to assign uh, channels to a DCA group is the following. You choose your layer where your DCAs are located. And then um, in the processing screen, uh, sorry, not the processing, the routing, you go to routing and you have the same overview. If you select the correct DCA, in this case my drum, you can already see here is a list of all the members of my DCA group. Tap once and we do it again. The soft buttons offer three different DCA functions, DCA Mute, DCA Peffel and DCA Spill. DCA Spill is a fantastic way to have quick access to a member of a DCA group. You can spill directly or on select. So let's use soft button 2 to have a, a DCA Spill function. So you go to the Setup button and you choose Surface soft control. Here you have your soft buttons uh, that can be assigned. On my SQ5 those are eight buttons and you have uh, more on the SQ6 and 7. All right, soft button two and we assign that to a DCA not mute, not puffle, DCA spill. Okay, and there you have two options. You can say ah, which DCA group you want to have spilled when you uh, press the button two or say spill on select. So let's start with or drum group maybe. Okay, now if I hit a uh, soft button two, you would see right here, all my drum channels are spilled out from my drum group. So I can use the uh, uh, DCA group to lower the volume and raise the volume if I'm satisfied with the uh, balance of the drum kit. If I'm not satisfied, just spill it, new adjustment and go back to your mixing layer. That way you can easily and really, really fastly access those. If you uh, want to have the other functions, that means DCA spill on select, you just use spill on select. It's easy as that, it applied. Now, whatever DCA group is selected will appear uh, in my spill. So that means if you go in the drum group, it will work. Uh, notice the different colors. Hey, it's great. And DCA2, we have nas nothing assigned. And maybe you've noticed our DCA uh, uh, window jumped to the back. 
and DCA3. I think we put something in. Yes, we did. It's uh, input 17 to 24. And again, change the balance and go back to mixing. Okay, what are now the use cases for a DCA? First of all, you can remotely obviously control faders. Um, you will not see the faders move physically. It's just uh, that the values change. So um, in a later, in, in the next on the uh, uh, video after that, I'll show you gang groups. This is where you can actually see multiple faders move at once if you move a gang. This is what, what the gang is for, but in this case you can't see it. But what you can see is uh, not only is the volume controlled via the fader, but also the mute. So what we have now, we don't have only a DCA group, we have a mute group as well. So as you can see, I press mute and all the members of my DCA group are now muted. This is a very handy function if you want to save a uh, soft uh, button uh, and not use it as a mute all. You can simply use a DCA group which contains all your inputs and uh, everything else you would want to mute with a mute all button. So save one of your soft buttons and use a mute DCA group instead. Another good way to use the DCAs is to assign all your input channels, but not the vocals, to a DCA group. So in that case, you would have all maybe your input channels here and your all your uh, vocal channels on this uh, DCA group. So you could have easy control to push the, the vocals up above the uh, band or just lower the band a little bit without having to deal with uh, multiple fader movies, you know. <laughs> All right, some final words regarding DCA. Um, DCAs are uh, stored within a scene. So meaning the assignment uh, to the DCA group is stored within a scene. That means you could have totally different assignments in, uh, in every scene. So that means DCA one could be your drum channels, DCA one could also be in the next scene or your vocals. Uh, it doesn't matter, it changes from scene to scene. It's not a global uh, setting. Secondly, um, there is no processing involved in DCA groups, just the volumes and the mutes. The option to process the audio uh, will come if we talk about groups um, in the next video. Andre uh, makes some amazing videos, so uh, go and check those out if you haven't already. They're on YouTube. If uh, if there are no, uh, um, pa 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 p